Blah, 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 blah. All right. Hey there, everyone. This is Raukau playing uh, DSRPR. I don't know why I keep needing a second to remember. Um, today I have just watched uh, QI for the first time, and although some people will tell me that I'm quite late at discovering that show, I can say safely that I haven't uh, earnestly laughed so loud in quite a long time. World 2 Castle and this here flowerless fort. There's flowers all around it, but not within it. As you can see from the inside, you are not a flower, you are a turtle. There's a difference. I don't know how to tell the difference though, George. Well, uh, user guy there. For one thing, you are probably speaking to the wrong person. Secondly, it's quite simple. Flower is like a dream that has long been forgotten, while the turtle is the possibility of an unyearned for tomorrow. Now I hope that with these hopeful clues you'll remember, because they're quite different otherwise. That's just kind of like the, the greater scheme of thing, you know, for the outside the box eating Tostito type folk out there that I know are watching this video within the embrace of uh, pathologies and everything that involves. That's just fine. Platform over spikes. 1999 Winter Olympic winner. Or so I just made up. Punching a turtle is pretty fun, but getting punched by a turtle, not quite as entertaining. I never understood why. I am apparently a psychopath that doesn't realize that, you know, it's not fun being hurt. <laughs> There's a secret exit here. There's also secret spikes and a secret door on the secret queue, but mostly it's just a room to mix up our, our flower. Make some delicious Space Time Gaiagus cake. They are the most delicious brandy. Except you don't drink them, you need to use a fork and all that. It's pretty inconvenient. This is the part of Jeff's truck, Malcolm. Last time I left on Port 3. It's a power up here, so I'm just gonna go take it. Yeah, the, the dragon coins are snuggled along quite on the front side when you, when you really think about the way I evolved. It's not a super long level, and uh, you know, then they put it on the first half before sticking out. So that's pretty well thought, well, pretty well thought out, except I was thinking, well, yeah, I mean, it makes sense before someone who would really would be into the idea of getting the dragon coins, but, you know, so that he gets the net point doesn't get screwed over. I'm pretty, like, but some levels in the regular game don't have that consideration. That's why I'm a little perplexed. And I wonder if that's really the story behind it. Oh man, no scroll. Oh man, a wizard! Man, this is the world of interjection. Signed by Earl Conray. That may or may not be a person. I actually don't know. Man, there's, there's a bended uh, bar in the background there. Someone tried to force themselves inside this house. We must find the culprit. But all I can see here is a magical wizard that keeps dying. So it cannot possibly be him. Maybe one of the spinning balls here went rogue. We you know came back to his space when he saw that the investigative plumber came along. He was like, oh man, gotta play it safe. Gonna pretend like I've just been here mowing the on all day. They're never gonna suspect a thing. Well, my investigation is crossed. Hey there, uh, an ant pineapple head. I keep wanting to call pineapples ananas, even though that's not a word in, in English, but it's anana in French, and anana is kind of a funny word. Pineapple, it's, it's such a dull word for a kind of crazy looking fruit with all its scales and, it, you know, its leafy hair. I, you're really, you're really bumming me out with that word choice, English language. I, I expected a lot more out of you. Warren Koopa Jr. is now just a Jesus. <laughs> That's harsh! <laughs> Come on, dude. Well, I'm pretty sure that the flowers will be okay. We're gonna go in the donut volcano. It's, you know, it's a big old giant uh, natural, uh... Deep fryer, and there's a big circle here. There's a level we did there yesterday. Everyone is happy and being cooked alive. Even the snails fossilize in the wall. So it's a yellow level, but there's a switch in it. You can tell because the secret top area told us. One slide there, but I couldn't. Here's a part of the level that's entirely made out of yellow blocks. It's the it's the seamstress part of the level, you know. If, if you follow what I am putting down here, which is probably the case for Mr. The Turtle, now you are dead. I I like the like for all the people had to say about the music, 
I seriously do think that this is one of the most successful uh, under the ground using uh, switches up there. There's a secret above this wall. Hope you don't forget to know. Bones are there and they fall. Bones are really sensible to gravity. That's why we keep falling down when we fall down. You know, it's it's because of all our you know our bodies full of bones. And you know, you know, it, birds have hollowed bones because their bones are hollow. There's less there's less bone basically. And that's why they can fly and they can escape the gravity of the earth. That's also why cats are good at jumping because they have light bones. That's that's basically the it. So you know, debone yourself if you want to fly, and you'll you'll be quite a content little rodent. And, uh, at least this is what my studies had led me. I'm gonna admit, I'm not a professional caretaker, so there are some things about a human body that I still have yet to know. But uh, I'm I'm pretty confident in my research. I just gotta find, you know, just gotta confirm one or two little details and uh, I'm pretty much ready to take the entire field of science as a whole by storm. I mean, where's the grounds? <laughs> okay, so I gotta swerve the merv. Got it. Or I can jump down here and follow the coins. Swerve the merv there. Oh Jesus, this is risky without the red switch. Risky, but far from undoable, right, pudgy spiky? Oh no, this is the bone skeleton. No, it's called the bone labyrinth. The bone skeleton. <laughs> yes, this is a skeleton here. You know, I remember back in my uh, my high school biology days when we had to you know reassemble a skeleton from a dead body, and that's pretty much how my homework ended up looking. And. I don't know, I think that my B- minus was a bit harsh. It's at the very least, very least, a B+. Plus. But, eh, uh, what can you do, man? Schools are controlled by tyrants and demagogues, and uh, just won't listen to the true real facts. Always wasting our time just learning not the things that we won't use, such as proper weight of a paperclip and how to walk a dog. <laughs> Who needs to know that? Who needs? You know, I know school is just this big old place that's gonna brainwash you into being a factory worker and be happy with it. You know what, with them making you follow rules all the time that don't often even bother to explain the whys and making you listen to math. All things you do all the time while working in factories. The, the crucial, most important uh, destiny that government want us to follow for some reason. Well, there was a time where we need a lot of factory workers, but not anymore. Um, kinda export them, well, by which I meant import them from somewhere else, but you know, details. Maybe that's why now the schooling system doesn't know what to do with itself, at least in America. It's like, well, we got all these kids with potential, potential futures, but all our grunt work is now not on American soil, so we don't really need them. Maybe they just swam around in nothing for a while. For some secret exits, you need to bring a power up from the outside world. I've never really been a big fan. I know the original game does that. I've never been a fan in the Well, in the original game, I never really thought about it. But it's when this became a, an act of criticism in Wrong Act that I realized, you know what, the, the original game should have done that. But what can you do? There's, there's some logic of bringing stuff from elsewhere, it's just that when suddenly the gameplay, on a per level basis, can become fairly complex. I don't know, I, I get opinions. I forget what this level here has come from, unless the Red Switch Palace the original game was a real level like this, which might have been the case. I think the red and the blue were like legit levels, but uh, I got a bit of a memory stomp here. I do not know. It's another scrolling part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did start with a cave level that led to, uh, 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 you know, a switch-looking level that was nonetheless still a real level. 
My memories, they are coming back! I am ready to be inserted inside the, the head cavity of a Frankenstein's monster. Notice that I did put that apostrophe S there, because Frankenstein is the name of the dog. This plus plus will help you on your way with the O of the on replaced by a nil sign for some reason. I'm not sure what Tefia is trying to tell us there. I don't know if I like it a lot, but I like the game a lot, so let's continue our genderly swim through the cinnamon caves here. Blockade of Urchin sounds like a good way to spend an afternoon. Whatever that means. That's a nice background, but I don't know where it's from. It's big old pulsating, fluffy pillow flowers. It just looks so dosh darn comfortable, you know? Man, this level looks a lot like something you'd find in the... Like, basically, like it'd be an edit of uh, Forest of Illusion uh, 2, although it was did find found on World 3, so I think he actually exchanged the two water worlds and the two water stage in these two worlds when he did the original game. I'm not sure. It's a possibility. Let's put a million death cubes everywhere. That's gonna look really dangerous and frightening, and the player's gonna be like, Oh no! I am in danger and a frightened! And, and you know, the cop's gonna be all like, Yeah, boy! And it's gonna like brandish his little bag. Yeah, there's, there's a key there. I wonder how I'm gonna get there a little bit later. Ooh, let's do this right now, actually. Since we're right there, we can go through the enormous cloud of dreams. My dreams are not, you know, metallic squares with skulls printed on them. That'd be a lot more metal than the kind of dreams I do get. It'd be actually interesting to listen about instead of fairies. But whatever! You gotta go through the thing, then you gotta go through a thing at another thing place. Basically, it's a one-level shortcut again. Good for you. Again, uh, I prefer to have the high dexterity than the uncontrollable speed of a held object. I you know some people would jump at a chance of just grabbing that key and being able to motor around, but I, that, uh, that ain't the way I run, yo. That ain't the run, the run that I'm driving. I am not driving this run. You, you cannot drive an abstract concept such as a run. Well, you can't run a show. That is kind of an abstractized concept. So maybe you can run a run. I, I may have to redo some of my uh, vocabulary exceptions here. Exceptions? Acceptance? Accept the tense? Accept the tenacity? Accept the tenship? I don't even know anymore. Are you a train? Of course you're not. How was I the loser in that exchange? <laughs> Crazyville. Oh shoot. Bad Cityville. Don't step on these tracks, folks. They're electrified. Never take a chance around something that can run over you without you being aware of it. There. Oh man, you got a cute little spike on your pipe. That's actually kind of cute. That's why I used the adjective cute at some point. You know, Alex in the forum brought up the point that yeah, levels don't necessarily need a midpoint, and I suppose that's true. That's another thing that was kind of indoctrinated through lots of people playing lots of ROM hacks. I think at some point we have started to forget the fact that we're not necessarily going to beat all video games that we play. That's the internet era for you with the L please and all that. And I've always been about making an effort, but yes, <laughs> I suppose. Not sure where I was going with that. I'm thinking a lot these days and probably not very good for my sinuses, so I'm gonna stop. This is Avcab playing uh, TSRPR and join me next time when uh Alright, oh, the video's not, not done yet, I can still think for a while.